Hello everyone, I'm going to open for you the nano station Loco M2. Okay, I got two of them. I'm going to open it and do the configuration for you. Okay, so we are going to start now. So we are going to start, we're going to open this one. So this is the antenna, nano station loco M2. So the LAN cable go here. Okay. So we're going to open it from here. You press here. Okay. So you plug your LAN cable here. And this is the reset button. Okay. It comes with a PoE adapter, it's one cable tight, you're going to install the cable tight here, like this, and then you tight it on your pole. It's the user manual. You will need two network cable. I'm going to open it. So this is the power cord. You connect it here. You plug PoE. The yellow cable is the PoE and it's come to your nano station. Like this. Another cable from LAN port. And you connect it to your switch or access point or on your computer to do your configuration. So, as you can see here, from PoE to your nano station. So, let's do the configuration behind our computer okay we are going to do our first configuration of nano station local m2 as you can see i'm using wifi main desktop okay so wifi main help you to find any ubiquiti devices on your network so this scan the ip addresses as you can see right now there's only one nano station that are plugged on my network as you can see, this is the default IP address. Okay, 192.168.1.24. This device. We're gonna do a configuration of our network. We need to be in the same range. You click here, come to property. And you change this to 192.168.1.30. And the sub mask will be 255.255.250. And then you click OK. And now we are going to our browser and then do the configuration. So open your browser. So you must enter 192.168.1.20. You press enter. So they're going to warn you that you are going to a website that are not secure. So you just press advance. The username by default is UBNT. Password will be UBNT. You select your country. You accept, you click login. Going to wait. Okay, from here, you click on YLX. So we are going to change YLX mode from station to access point. 
So access point will, it will be a sender. From here, you go have to enable this WDS. You can change this name if you want. Okay, I'm going to leave it like this. And then you click change. From here, they're going to ask you to change your password. Okay, put your current password UBNT. So you put your new password. It's okay. That's fine. Click change. You click apply. So it's going to reboot. So when it reboots, we're going to come to network. Let's try if it's done. Okay. So from here to avoid a conflict, a IP conflict, you're going to have to change your IP from 20, maybe to 21. And then let's click change. Click apply so now we are going to connect our second ubiquiti and do the configuration so the configuration will be the same the only thing what we are going to do for the other nano station we are going to change the wireless mode to access point let's connect the other one Same thing. Click here. Password UBNT. Country. Accept. Log in. You come to Wirex. You leave it like this station you activate so when you change here it must be the same thing don't change it must be the same you can change it put whatever you want but it must be the same and then password your password click change apply it's gonna reboot it's not ready reload must wait now from here so we are going to change this to 22 from here and then apply it's gonna reboot again now you can see it's flashing okay that mean those two nano are communicating together as you can see here it flashing as you can see so you install it on a pole if you come here as you can see here it can see both of them you see so this is how you set up a nano station okay i hope this video will help someone who is in need don't forget to like this video and subscribe ciao